to you all on shore, Lynn McCluskey, General Secretary of Unite the Union. Well, uh, thank you, Martin, and good afternoon, sisters and brothers, comrades and friends. What a privilege it is for me to be here today to celebrate our day. As Jeremy Corbyn said, millions of working people around the world are celebrating today, are demonstrating their solidarity. And we are part of that movement. It is our class that is out today to celebrate our values. And our message is a clear one. We have more in common with an Argentinian worker, a South African worker, an Australian, an American, and a European worker. We have more in common with them than any British boss. Because our class is fighting for the decent type of world that Bob Crow and Tony Benn lived for. I was privileged to call both of those men my friend as well as my comrade. Bob taken from us far too early and of course the warmth and the love that the movement had for him will comfort Nicky and the family in their difficult times. And I'm delighted that the proud union that he led continues with his legacy, with the disputes that they're fighting for, and Unite sends its full support for the fight that you're involved in at the moment. Tony Benn, of course, a man who was hated by the establishment because with clarity and lucidity, he constantly exposed the obscenity of their system. He was constantly on the side of ordinary working people and demonstrating that the capitalist system that is responsible for such atrocities around our world can only be replaced by the ideals of socialism. And that's the message that we send out here today to our own government, a government that's trying to take away everything that our fathers and mothers and our grandparents fought for. They were the ones that at the end of the Second World War, having defeated fascism, came back determined to build a land fit for heroes, determined to banish once and for all the hunger of the thirties. And this government is trying to dismantle everything that they put together. The welfare state, the National Health Service, universal education. And the only way that we can defend that is by uniting together having the belief in our own values and using everything at our disposal, including a general strike. And we need comrades to raise the consciousness of ordinary working people because my experience tells me that when working people join hands across nations and across oceans, anything is possible. When working people are confident then we can take back the power that rightly belongs to us. Solidarity runs through our very veins. And it is that solidarity that the boss's class simply don't understand. That's why, despite their power and their wealth, they will never ever defeat a united working class. And that spirit of internationalism is something that is celebrated today. We send our support to the Palestinians fighting for justice in the Middle East. We send our support to the people of Venezuela who are trying to defend their revolution against the reactionary forces within South America and of course backed by the CIA. And I say this to you, that the power of the right-wing media constantly seeks to debilitate us, constantly seek to tell us that there's nothing we can do. We are not powerful enough. There is no alternative. Let's reject that type of defeatism which sometimes we hear within our own movements. Reject it because when we are united, anything is possible. Comrades, the message 
around the world today is that we have a will to win. We have a will to win where bigotry and prejudice and hatred is banished. We have a will to win where man's and humanity's demand is replaced by the common good, where peace and justice and fairness and equality become bywords of a new era. It is us that carry that fight. I want to thank you for being here. Believe in your values, because together we can achieve a better world. Thanks so much. Thanks, thanks a lot, uh, Len. Thank you very much.